You know, we all are part of this, this uh, tribe of humanity and we all have a different, we occupy a different spot in that tribe. You know, I like to think in terms of gifts, that, that each person is born into different kinds of gifts. They could be, you know, personal gifts or they could be, uh, you know, gifts of money, um, education, whatever it is. And no matter what gift you've been given, the deep impulse is the same, that you want to give this gift forward in some way. You want to devote this gift towards something that's beautiful to you. And I think that's universal. If you're, whether you're a CEO of a big company or you're uh, a you know, single mother barely making ends meet, uh, this is a universal human urging. And its expression is unique to each person. Uh, people sometimes ask me, uh, who do you admire the most, Charles? Who's your hero? Who's your role model? And they're expecting me to say mm, Gandhi, you know, or Martin Luther King or Nelson Mandela or somebody. Um, but I, I bring this example. Um, what's coming to mind now is this kindergarten teacher. And I remember she would kneel down in front of a child and just look him in the eye and speak to him with total respect. No, no, no patronizing note in her voice and total love and, and confidence in this person as a capable, beautiful being. On the kind of systems level thinking, you know, like, well, that's all very nice, but, you know, what about climate change? You know, I mean, she's not doing something as important as those of us doing big things. She's just in a little kindergarten. But another part of us can sense that her action sends ripples out through another matrix of cause and effect that we've blinded ourselves to in our dominant culture. Uh, we, we marginalize that kind of thing. We marginalize, in general, the kind of things that women do. Um, and I think we need to begin listening to that. And when we do, um, our understanding of what an activist is begins to expand.